We like to think that we know everything about our history and the people who came before us. But that couldn't be further from the truth. From 300,000-year-old tools to ancient death pits full of severed limbs. Today, we're taking a look at the shocking discoveries that rewrote history. In 2012, a property development project in France stumbled onto a disturbing historical site by accident. What they found was an ancient pit of death, hidden just six feet underground. Finding an old burial ground or cemetery is one thing, but this pit of bones is much more sinister. Inside the hole, researchers found severed arms and fingers, as well as the skeletons of infants, children, and adults. The amputated limbs were at the bottom of the pit, and seven bodies had been thrown on top of them. Who were these people, and why were they tortured, killed, and mutilated? These bones and bodies are over 5,000 years old, so finding a concrete answer to what happened here isn't likely. But that doesn't mean experts don't have their own theories. Some believe that the skeletons and severed limbs belong to people who committed some kind of crime or injustice. Or maybe this is the result of an ancient human sacrifice ritual. Either way, this grisly and shocking discovery sent chills down the spines of researchers around the world. In Rome, archaeologists have uncovered the remains of a horse and saddle in the ancient city of Pompeii. According to Pompeii archaeological park head Massimo Osana, the horse was owned by a general or another high-ranking military official. Researchers also found two other horses, but they don't believe they belong to the same person. And thanks to modern technology, we know exactly how these ancient animals died. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it was one of the most powerful and deadliest volcanic eruptions of all time. The thermal energy released was 100,000 times more powerful than the nuclear bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and it almost instantly destroyed four Roman cities. We still don't know the actual death toll of the eruption. Most estimates put the number around 100,000, although it could be more. And their deaths would have been pure agony. Getting trapped by lava is a pretty nasty way to go, but at least it's over quickly. Most of the confirmed deaths after the eruption were due to inhaling burning volcanic ash, or people's insides literally boiling inside of them because of the massive heat wave released by the volcano. A historian named Pliny the Younger wrote about how the ash and smoke were so thick that it turned day into night. Broad sheets of flame were lighting up many parts of Vesuvius. Their light and brightness were the more vivid for the darkness of the night. It was dayling now elsewhere in the world. But there, the darkness was darker and thicker than any night. The ash and boiling air is what killed these newly discovered horses. And since they weren't affected by molten lava, their remains are in amazing condition. Now, scientists can study their bodies to learn more about Pompeii, its culture, and how animals were treated by their owners. The catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius destroyed most written records about Pompeii, and this discovery is incredibly important. Now, researchers will be able to fill in more gaps about this tragic ancient city. And speaking of ancient mysteries, this next shocking discovery has changed everything we know about ancient humans. We know that 90% of humans alive today are descendants of people who left Africa around 60,000 years ago. But a shocking new discovery has revealed that an advanced species was using advanced tools more than 140,000 years before them. Researchers in India have found a treasure trove of stone tools that were created at least 300,000 years ago. These 7,000 historic artifacts are the oldest ever found in India, and they are rewriting everything we thought we knew about ancient humans. Scientists still have no idea who these people were or how they became so advanced. Were they part of a pre-modern species of human? Or were they modern humans that somehow ended up in India thousands of years before we thought? Most experts think the tools were created by pre-modern humans. The oldest modern human bone ever found outside of Africa was in Israel, and it only dates back to 185,000 years ago. That means if these tool builders were modern humans like us, it would literally change everything we know about our history and how we ended up where we are today. Archaeologist Chris Clarkson believes that the tools were created by an ancestor of the Neanderthals, called Homo heidelbergensis. However, no remains have been recovered from the area, so for now the origins behind the toolmakers remains a mystery. 
And although it's unlikely the tools were crafted by modern humans, it's still a possibility. Archaeologist Shanti Papu states, We do know modern humans were around at this point in time, and the possibility is there, but we must be very cautious. And it's important to remember that these weren't just simple tools either. Some of them were attached to handles, and whoever made them was even beginning to develop blade technology. This discovery changes everything archaeologists thought they knew about our ancestors, and further research could reveal even more shocking artifacts. While we're on the topic of ancient humans, let's take a look at a mysterious temple that rewrote the history of humanity. A German archaeologist named Klaus Schmidt was excavating a mountaintop in Turkey when he stumbled across something strange. Buried underground were several strange buildings that didn't seem to belong there. And by the time the excavation was finished, Klaus knew that he had found something incredible. On top of the mountains were more than 20 round buildings made of stone. The biggest one was over 60 feet across, and inside of it were two elaborately carved statues that looked like strange human figures. Each of the statues weigh up to 20,000 pounds, and the detailed carving is more advanced than should have been possible for the time period. These massive structures were built over 11,000 years ago, which makes them the oldest structures ever created that weren't used for shelter. After working on the site for over a decade, Klaus Schmidt realized that his discovery could rewrite the entire history of civilization and explain why humans went from nomadic tribes to building permanent settlements and farms. When researchers examined the stone tools used to construct the enclosures, they discovered that they were made by tribes of hunter-gatherers. They found the remains of thousands of animals in the area, and no evidence of farm equipment. This means that the massive structures were created before these people even had a permanent settlement. At first, Klaus and the other researchers had no idea how these early people managed to move the massive pillars. But then they discovered that the pillars were actually carved out of limestone found inside the hill. After carving the pillars out of the hillside, they would use rope and log beams to move them into position. Limestone is soft enough that they could even use wooden tools to carve it, although this would take an incredible amount of time. Klaus Schmidt believes that nomadic tribes who shared similar beliefs joined forces to create these structures. He says that all of the smaller groups in an area would hold giant feasts together, then scatter back into the countryside. The structure on the mountain was likely some kind of ritual center or burial ground used by all of the tribes. This theory made huge waves in the archaeological community. Before this discovery, it was believed that organized religion and ritual sites were only constructed after humans started domesticating crops and building settlements. The structures at Gobekli Tepe have turned this idea on its head. It shows that humans were building religious structures way before anyone thought they did. Years after Klaus Schmidt's initial discovery, his successor unearthed something even crazier. Lee Claire took over the expedition at Gobekli Tepe after Klaus's death. His team was allowed to dig deeper than Schmidt's, and what they found shocked archaeologists around the world. Their excavation revealed that there were houses and other permanent settlements in the same area. This means that Gobekli Tepe wasn't an isolated structure in the middle of nowhere, but there might have been a larger village surrounding it. Claire and his team also found ancient mechanisms that were used to collect rain top, and tools used to prepare food and beer. Claire said in an interview, Gobekli Tepe is still a unique special site, but the new insights fit better with what we know from other sites. It was a fully-fledged settlement with permanent occupation. It's changed our whole understanding of the site. Thanks to this new information, everything we knew about Gobekli Tepe has changed. Now, the dominant theory is that people who lived there were transitioning from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to living in permanent settlements. There is evidence that they experimented with domesticating animals and plants and were slowly learning how to live in one place for a long time. Gobekli Tepe is one of the most shocking discoveries in modern history, and we're still learning more from the site. There are miles and miles of excavation still going on today, and there's no telling what archaeologists will find next. This ancient settlement has revealed so much about our ancestors and has completely rewritten what we knew about the nomadic hunting tribes of the era. Okay guys, that's all for this video on the shocking discoveries that rewrote history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest videos. Thanks so much for watching.